Hello humans, how are you today? Quite dandy here. So today I'm going to be making you guys a video that I had planned on making once I hit, you know, over a thousand subs, uh, even maybe two or three thousand. But um, I've had quite a few people message me, uh, other YouTubers, subscribers, friends. Um, they've honestly asked me how I've gotten close to 400 subscribers within a month, um, which I'm insanely grateful for. I love you guys so much. Um, but I do have some, you know, hints and tips that I can give you guys and hopefully you can use it. I'm honestly hoping that maybe if it helps just one person get some extra subscribers and some supporters, then it works. And so why wait till I get to a thousand or 10,000 or a hundred thousand subscribers, um, to show this to people when, if I can help people now, it makes it all the worth it. So, all right, so stick with me. I'm going to go through a few tips and then we'll be done. Step one, meow. So step number one, honestly, is networking. Um, pretty much the best way to get subscribers and fast is to talk to other YouTubers. Um, this is my best tip that I have personally because you can reach out to so many YouTubers every single day. I'm not even exaggerating when I say I'm on YouTube 12 to 16 hours a day. I barely sleep. I have no problem. You can see the baggage. But um, yeah, honestly, networking with other YouTubers. Now, I know there's a stigma around sub for sub, which is why I don't call it sub for sub. I call it, you know, support for support. Um, sure, you know, you may word it sub for sub, but honestly, if you reach out to these people, uh, review their channel, talk to them, become their friend, you guys can support each other. Now let's say you get 40 subscribers and they're like, oh, you got 40 sub for subs, they're going to be dead subbers, blah, 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 blah. Well, honestly, if 30 of those subscribers are dead subscribers, but you manage to make 10 people that like your channel, comment, agree with what you're doing, those 10 subscribers you would have never gotten if you hadn't reached out to those 40 people. And honestly, having 40 extra subs really boosts your confidence. So support for support, absolutely. Step two, meow. So step number two is like the first one, but it's social networking. Um, so you guys have probably heard a million times about, you know, different things you can do in social networking to improve your channel. Every how-to video has it. But I'm going to expand on that a little bit and really get into it. So obviously you got Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, and all that good stuff. But especially for Facebook, 90% of your friends don't even see what you post. And that's just because of the algorithms they have on there. So what you really need to do is message people. Give them your link. I don't message like everybody. I have a lot of friends on there. Um, friends. But um, you want to message people, sometimes in groups, sometimes single out, and say, hey, can you please check out my video? I work really hard, and I would love it if you could support me. Some people will check it out. They'll sub to you, and they'll never talk to you again about it. Other people will say, hey, this is pretty cool. I'm going to keep checking it out. And I have a couple of my friends that uh, will share my video. Uh, even though they'll be jackasses to me, I don't care. Share away. You subbed. You can say what you wish. Um, so that's what you really want to do. And for Twitter, don't ignore Twitter. I ignored Twitter for a while, and I was like, what's the difference? It's like Facebook and Instagram. No, it's not. Uh, I got 600 followers on Twitter within a day or maybe two. Uh, not bragging. Swear, it's r ridiculously easy. You can add 100 people at a time. Um, Twitter is about connecting people you don't really know, at least in my opinion. So... I may have gotten 10, 12 subscribers from the people I've worked with on Twitter, but that's 10 or 12 that I wouldn't have right now if I didn't. Um, I met some pretty cool people on there and supported their stuff, whether it's a channel, whether it's like a music thing or a movie thing. Uh, Twitter's really good, so I recommend that. And Instagram, of course, you know, same old, same old. Put a picture on. It's kind of like Facebook, but you can't really. I would recommend Twitter and Facebook first. <laughs> Instagram is great as a third place. All right, on to the next one. Step three, meow. Step three. So tags, descriptions, and titles, which you guys have heard a thousand times on all the how-to channels. But I'm going to try to condense that down for you and get all the information that I've learned. Um, just make it easier for you guys, a lot shorter. So basically, um, tags. You want to tag as much as you can and fill that puppy up with all the keywords that you can. So let's say you are doing a Star Wars thing. You got Star Wars, Star Wars Force Awakens, Star Wars the movie, 
Han Solo, Luke Skywalker. Everything about Star Wars you can possibly put in there in every variation. Even caps and non-caps and different spellings. All the things that you can fill in there that might trigger something when people search. Uh, as for descriptions, uh, the, what, from what I gathered, the first two to three lines are the most important. So let's say you are making a video about a red dog eating poop. So what you'll do is you'll be like, saw this red dog eating poop. I hate poop, but I love red dogs. Enjoy the red dog eating poop. Really ties itself together, almost repetitive, but it really dives into that dog eating poop. And so if someone happens to be searching for a dog or poop, it might trigger it. Same with the title. You match that with the title. Nastiest red dog eating poop. And that will really bring people in. Uh, obviously, you're still going to want to share the video like in step two and talk to other people like in step one. But you want all these different things to be a cohesive unit. Let's go to the next one. And final one. Step four. Meow. All right, so step four is a mini tip that I have been kind of diving into a little bit. Um, so I'm experimenting with it. I like it. It seems like it works, but I have no way to trace it. So I'm just going to tell you guys, just in case you don't know, you can do it. Um, you can collaborate with other people and have your name or their name featured on your front page. So for instance, um, let's say you're working with uh, Susie Johannesson. And Susie's like, you are badass, man. I want to feature you on my page so that my 5,000 subscribers can see you are right there. And you're like, wow, Susie, I really appreciate that. So I have 30 subscribers, and I want them to see you. So you can actually put her right on your front page, right in your edit screen. And you'll have a list. Like right now I have two, um, two people that I, you know, have on there that I want people to look at that are pretty cool. I'm working on three or four. I'm really selective on who I put on there just because I want them to kind of, I want people to go there to see good content, um, and content that kind of jives with mine a little bit, um, or if they're really nice people. <laughs> um, so pretty much these are my four tips on how to get more YouTube subscribers, rather how to get your first hundred and get your foot in the door. I know a lot of people, myself included, starting from zero, it was like climbing Mount Everest, and I'm literally like over the first rock, and I'm like, wow, 10 feet, I'm awesome. Um, so just keep at it. Don't give up. Um, don't not try anymore or throw your channel away. There are so many opportunities to, to express yourself, and if you're interested in making money, to make money through branding and um, just don't give up, and uh, you guys will do this. I promise. All right, so I'm out of here, Meow. Um, I'd like to thank Luna Chan for her excessive work in this video. Um, she really put on her best moves for you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you don't like me, you can't not like her. It's just the rules because she's so awesome. All righty. So I will more than likely be having a video this Friday on an Is It Worth It? Because uh, I'm sticking to that schedule of a video every Friday regardless of what I do during the week. And um, I may be working on a hog feeding video because they're really cute, but it's kind of cold. So I, I don't have hogs, but I know someone has hogs, so I can feed them. It's cute. All right. I am out of here, humans. Thank you so much for helping me out. Subscribing. Please subscribe to this. Share, view, everything. Get this out there, guys. Um, not just for me, but because obviously I'm building my channel, but for everybody because these tips really can help people. Alrighty. I'm out of here, meow. Love you. Take care.